If you're telling me that the writers of the New Testament were writing after the destruction of the temple, why don't, well, let me finish, my friend. Why don't these writers say, hey, guys, the temple has been destroyed? <laughs> Who were the first witnesses of the resurrection? I've absolutely no idea because I wasn't there. Well, you listen to what they've written, what? Matthew. Paul, written. right, hold what it, oh, no, 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 in a court of law, in a court of law, what did Paul say, hang on, what did Paul, Paul say? came after, no, okay, did yes, he did, Paul was first. not part of the 12 apostles, Paul came, okay, the writers yes. of Paul came first, no, they didn't. Yes, they did. Matthew is the first writer, no. No. the first no. gospel was written no. AD 54, no. Most the majority of biblical of what? scholars. Who, who? The majority. Okay. Atheistic, evangelical, <laughs> Roman Catholic. Okay. Uh, except what? that the first Christian writings were the writings of Paul. That's nonsense. That's back no, to front. Not. No, it's not. Was no, Paul not. part of the 12 apostles? No. Right. Who was? Right. Who were the twelve no, apostles? No, it doesn't. I don't care who you. Oh no, 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 no. Well, I do. I'm talking about history. Yeah, that's history. history the timeline. Thing. Timeline. Time out. Yeah. Jesus died eighty thirty. Who were there? Was Paul there? <coughs> no. I don't know who was there. Right. Matthew was there. No, he John wasn't. was there. No, he wasn't. Yes, there no, were. He wasn't. Okay. Be Peter was there. Okay. James. Was James was, was there. there okay, look bro. at James. Bro. Who was James? Bro. Who was James? I'm not. I'm going to basically cut this now, okay? <laughs> I'm going to basically cut this now, okay? Why? Be because biblical scholars. What biblical scholars? Biblical scholars. Evangelical scholars. What? Okay, evangelical scholars. Yeah. Biblical scholars basically are saying that the first person to write down Christian stuff was Paul in 50, around 48, 50 AD. That's rubbish! No, it's not. That's it's rubbish! Thing. Okay? And Let, biblical look. scholars say that the Gospel what? of Mark what? was written in AD 70. Oh my goodness me! AD 70, hey. Matthew. How could Matthew, that be? Matthew. Matthew. Yeah. Matthew, uh, 80, Luke around the same time. Oh my John, goodness! 90 uh, AD. Oh uh, yeah, 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 yeah. That is what, okay? Hey, this is what this talk. No, that's nonsense. You know why it's no, nonsense? It's, not nonsense. it's, it's very true. easy to rebuke that. No, it's not. Number one, no. Jesus died. What year? 30, 33 AD. The Thank you very much. Yep. Who were the eyewitnesses to the crucifixion? The so called disciples. Oh, such as Matthew, John, Peter. Yes. These are the apostles. Hang on a second, okay? <laughs> Hang on a second, okay? Whoa. You expect me to believe yeah. something that was written 30, 40, 50 years ago? No. Oh, no! No, 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 no. Actually, Matthew wrote early. We don't know who Matthew we was. Do. Oh. No, we don't. Who told you that? They were all anonymous. No, they they're not were, anonymous. Yes, they were anonymous. What? The names <laughs> of the Gospels were, were given in like the second century AD. Oh my goodness. Matthew Levi. Matthew was a Levite. No, he wasn't. Yeah. No, he wasn't, my friend. Let me, Matthew my actually friend. tells you that himself. He wasn't, okay? Then Have you no. read the New Testament? No, biblical scholar. Have you no, read the New Testament? No, biblical scholar agrees with what you're saying, bro. Have you read the New Testament? Of course I have. Right. Matthew's gospel is number one. Why is it number but one? Mark was the first gospel. No, Matthew yes, Levi. No. Mark. L was the first listen gospel. to me, my friend. Why does Mark? Right. Why does okay? Why does Mark, Matthew, and okay? Why? Why is there? I think uh, is it is it on um, eighty or ninety percent of Mark is also in um, Matthew and Luke because scholars what? have realized for, for the last 200 years that Mark was the first gospel written. No, it wasn't. And it that was is correct. written in about 70 AD. No! I, go, I, I, I dated it at 63. <laughs> I disagree with you there. What? I agree with you. It's early. It's earlier. It's 63, early. 63 AD. Right. Give me 63. Right. I'll give, I'll give you that it was definitely the first gospel written. My friend, right. I'm a fan of Bottom and I'll go He is he wrong. He is dead wrong. No, 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 no. Are, are you reading his books or are you reading his stuff as peer-reviewed? 
No, no, I'm reading stuff. I've, I I've, go I've go read his books. Yeah. Go, go, don't read his books. Go read his peer-reviewed articles. Okay, that's fine, okay. You'll see. <laughs> okay, early, early 60s is where Bart Ehrman's at. Okay. Early I, 60s, I promise. 70s. Okay. Right. Early 60s, 70s. Okay. okay. What? But at the end of the day, it was the first gospel. It, the, the, oh my the God! You, I said, there you go. And right. then, Mark is the first and then, gospel. and then it's Matthew and Luke, and not sure. And then, and then John. John is way off. Yes. Okay. John is about 90 AD. No, it's not. not. I, you know why? I give you 90. You I'll know give you why? Date on John. Look, in yeah. Israel John, today, let me you tell you know, why. I'll give, I'll give you the. Right <laughs> hey, okay. there's one e event yeah. apart from Jesus' death and resurrection, yeah. with Jewish people even today are worried about What's that? the destruction of the temple. And that, and that happened when? What year? 70 AD. Right. So now, AD. when you. 70 AD. I got you on the dates. <laughs> now, when you read the New Testament writers, whether it's Matthew, John, etc., yeah. why is it that the destruction of the temple is not mentioned? Why is it the destruction of the temple? And yet, it's a significant event that affected everybody. I'm sorry. I can't now, why is it not mentioned? Why is it not mentioned? Yeah. I don't know. What is mentioned, for example, in Matthew 24, are predictions by Jesus, the temple will be destroyed. Okay? Now, if you're telling me that the writers of the New Testament were writing after the destruction of the temple, why do well, let me finish, my friend. Why don't these writers say, hey, guys, the temple has been destroyed? Not once does any writer say that temple, that big, beautiful building, has been destroyed if the writers of the New Testament were written after AD 70. I can't answer that question because I I'm not a writer. Why, why, my friend? Because, you know, if the Bible is out of the biography of Jesus' life, then why would they mention the destruction of the temple? That's not the point of the Bible. So it could have happened. During that uh, I don't know. Oh my goodness, you don't get it, do you? All the writers of the New Testament write with the idea that the temple will be destroyed. Mark 13, Luke 21, Matthew 24. Because Jesus predicted this, right? Now, if the if these guys are saying, you know, he does it. Second, okay? Doesn't. Second, okay? Now, when the temple second. was sorry, destroyed, sorry, sorry. what? A second, okay? You are making assumptions there, okay? What assumption? You're, you're basically making assumptions that Jesus said that. Oh, okay. Let's go for the idea, your idea. Okay, okay, so the anyway. prophecies yeah. were made after the temple was destroyed. Is that what you're saying? I'm basically saying that I don't believe that Jesus said it. So who wrote the fact that Jesus said, you see this Mark, temple will be destroyed? The writers of Mark, the writers of Matthew, the writers of Luke, and the writer of John. That's it, simple. So why would they give you predictions yeah. which are false, ah. which you can see for yourself? <laughs> that doesn't make sense, right? Jesus said, see this temple here? Because they asked him, when are you coming back again? And Jesus said, the temple will be destroyed, all of it. They will lift up the stones and throw them away. And today, when you go to Israel, the stones are not there. They've been lifted up. Exactly as Jesus said. When did this happen? AD 70. Everybody knows that. Now, if you're telling me that Matthew, Mark, Luke, John wrote the Gospels after AD 70, yeah. so why don't the same writers say, hey guys, we have just seen the temple being destroyed? Uh, they don't. You don't no. They, but they tell you everything else, okay. but they never say, I'm an eyewitness. I've just seen the temple destroyed. Okay, okay. Is that exactly what Jesus said? They don't say that. Uh, so the commander, he's an atheist then? Oh, yes, he is. Okay, okay. But he doesn't believe that New Testament writers are writing the New Testament. Right. <laughs> and he says Paul yeah. was the earliest writer of the New Testament. Right. And not Matthew, Mark, Luke, John, the early 12 apostles, which is back to front. That doesn't make sense either, because Paul became what? A persecutor of the church. He went all the way to Syria trying to get Christians into jail. And he was there when the first martyr, uh, Stephen, died. Uh, he, he actually threw his gloves and agreed, yes, good. But Jesus confronted Paul on the road to Damascus. And from that point on, Paul says, I became a believer. Because Jesus had been resurrected. He doesn't like that. So he puts Paul 
in front of all the early apostles, <laughs> which, that, which beggars the question, what is he on about? Then he says, I, I follow B Bert Ehrman. I said, oh my goodness. That guy doesn't believe, believe anything. It's supernatural. If God made an earthquake, he would say, oh, it's normal. Right? So when Jesus was resurrected from the dead, right, nobody saw that. Okay? But they saw him after his resurrection. That's why Jesus said, touch me, feel me. Does a ghost have hands, a body? No. And he says, give me something to eat. And he ate. So they're thinking, hang on, he can eat. Yeah. Because the body is a real body. But he's resurrected from the dead. And then Thomas says, I want to see him. <laughs> I'm putting my hand where the nails were. And Thomas had it with eight days. Eight days later, Thomas says, Jesus coming through. Oh, my Lord and my God. Now, what does Thomas do afterwards? Thomas goes to India and preaches the gospel of the resurrection of Jesus to the Indians of India. Today, 2024, if you go to India as a country, the country of India, next door to Pakistan, you will find Christians who call themselves Thomas Christians. Not Pentecostals, not Methodists, not Salvation Army, Thomas Christians. Why? Because they say our great, great, great grandfathers, they met Thomas, he preached the gospel, so we call ourselves Thomas Christians after him. And every year in India, they have a celebration called the Thomas Holiday. <laughs> well, the Indians who worship Hinduism, Buddhism, whatever, they remember St. Thomas went to India, died as a martyr in India. So that's what happened to Thomas. He gave his life because he realized Jesus is real. So along comes an atheist in the 21st century. Oh no, Paul was first before Thomas. <laughs> and I'm going, this is completely upside down. Where are we in the 21st century when we have people talking like this? There you go. I, my case is closed. I'm just baffled by this. Thank you. Dr. Wanda, so just to wrap up, obviously you did a wrap up. Oh. Like what what, what uh, oh. message would you, would you like to give the atheists, for example? Well, an atheist has to acknowledge historical events. I wrote a book 30 years ago called Circular Evidence for the Resurrection. Why? Why? Because, to me, history is history. If you're a passionate human being and you love finding out about historical facts, you won't be surprised. So I looked at the Romans, I looked at the Greeks, I looked at uh, the Jewish people, and I was amazed at the amount of information from the first century. People like uh, Josephus, Tacitus, Pliny the Younger, and so forth. And what do they say as non-Christians? They say Jesus died under Pontius Pilate and that there was a Roman guard at the tomb of Jesus. But what all of them cannot agree with, they don't understand the resurrection. They say we, don't, we can't handle that. But why did the Roman Empire in AD 43 under Emperor Claudius put a new law in the Roman Empire saying Emperor of Caesar's decree from now on, anyone taking a dead body out of a tomb, when we find him, he should be executed. Why would you want to execute somebody for taking a dead body out of a tomb? Does it make sense? Because of the resurrection of Jesus Christ. So you got to look at the history. Uh, it's not just historical. The history points you to Jesus is alive. In the book of Revelation, the last book of Word from God, Jesus said, pay attention. Behold, I'm he who was dead. I am the first, I am the last, but I'm alive forevermore. Amen. And that's how I close. Amen. Well, that was Thank you. Well done.